Good afternoon and welcome once again to another exciting edition of Inside ProSense, where our purpose is very simple, to showcase our members, to shed a little light on the value that the Pro, that ProSense is providing to our industry players, and most of all, to let you hear that value directly from our members' lips. My name is Devin Anderson, and I am the president here at ProSense, and I'm joined once again by um, our leadership team, Mr. J.R. Edens, a ProSense partner, and our lovely CEO, Mr. Matt Russell. Matt, you want to say a few words before we begin? Uh, well, I'm excited to <clears throat> talk with John. He, he brings a new dynamic to the environment, you know, being one of the distributors within the environment so he can work both the buyer and the seller side. So he's got a, a, a very unique offering. So I can't wait to explore that more with our audience. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So today we are featuring one of our ProSense distributors, uh, within the ProSense environment, Mr. John Alba of National Efficiency Supply, aka NES, as we will refer to him in this uh, in this showcase. NES is based out of Auburn, Massachusetts. Good morning, Mr. John, and welcome to uh, Inside ProSense. Morning, guys. Appreciate you having me here. Yeah, we appreciate you being here. Um, all right, well, let's get this party started and uh, and hit these questions. Um, as always, um, let's begin by shining the light on you and your organization with a little self-promotion. Tell us a bit about your organization and then follow that up um, with a second piece. Um, as a distributor, what was it about ProSense that attracted you to not only become a member uh, within this buyer-seller environment, but also drove you to become an active participant um, of our 2022 board? Sure, sure. So uh, NES coming up on its nine year anniversary, September will have uh, hit that nine year mark. And it's been quite a uh, quite a ride. We started out as a, a, a few people in the leadership team here that came out of the ESCO market. So we had that, that kind of insight into the project world into the retrofit world. We also had a number of uh, distributor experiences within the group and decided that as a distributor, we could best fit the role to help that ESCO market, to help that project group, uh, also to go direct to end users, but to kind of take our project oriented experience and, and wrap it around the products in a way that helps primarily the ESCO group to execute projects without seeing that margin slip. And it's something that I think all of us had experienced as, as we were on the project side of it whether it be the staging of materials, uh, the efficiency in which auditing and specification is done, and really the construction side of it as the project kind of progresses to that stage. We felt like if we, if we came in as a distributor and we made our money basically buying and selling goods, but wrapped them with the services that we could have used when we were on the other side, that we would be able to kind of set ourselves aside and to bring more value to our customers than just being a commodities broker. Initially came out of the gate as specifically a lighting distributor. I had had some experience in the past where I'd worked for specialty lighting distribution. So I, I, I was comfortable with that. And as we have built out the company, we've really come to that realization that, okay, we're a distribution company. And whether it's a lighting skew or an EV skew or a heat pump skew, skews are skews. The, the model is the same. We have manufacturing vendor partners that we align with and we have customers that we sell to. And we just wanna make that transaction as easy and uh, really as customer centric as possible. So over the course of this year, you'll actually see a lot about us expanding our company um, kind of laterally into other segments, being the two that I just mentioned there primarily is the EV. So we look at, you know, a lot of our, a lot of our product sales generate in some shape or form out of some type of incentive funding mechanism, whether it be a utility incentive, a state incentive, federal incentive, those incentives and those grants and uh, utility programs are all pivoting towards not only energy efficiency, but decarbonization. So it made perfect sense for us to take the foundation we had built on specialty lighting distribution, pivot alongside those other entities and expand our offering. So now we have distinct uh, divisions. We have an EV retro division that's online now. We have a heat pump division that will be coming online 
end of this quarter, beginning of next quarter. And then we have a service group and the service group really wraps around all, all of the product divisions. So product divisions being lighting and controls, uh, electric vehicle charging and heat pumps, those, those divisions all benefit greatly by having a service group around them, whether it's us helping with uh, the, uh, the analytical part in the beginning, looking at, okay, here's our audit design specification, helping clients with return on investment equations, really helping people to make good decisions, I guess, is, is what we really kind of boil it down to and what is what has made us successful and, and what I believe will continue to make us successful. And then in terms of the second question there, you know, what, what drew me to ProSense, it really started out, I was thinking about this, it really is the people. You know, uh, you guys are a great group of, of leaders and, you know, you initially get drawn into something or, or into a group because of those people. And being drawn in by a great group of people just made it easy to kind of take that step forward and go, and go down the path. And, and I really appreciated the fact that I have. I've, I've enjoyed the time that I've spent with you. I look forward to the time that I'll be spending um, as we go down this path further in the future. And, uh, you know, from a distribution perspective, I guess I kind of looked at it and said, hey, you know, this gives me some good opportunities. It helps me add value to this group. Um, but stepping out of that distribution side and kind of just looking at it as John Alba from a personal perspective, that's, that's really where I kind of looked at it and said, hey, you know, what? I see a lot of value in this group. I, I believe in the, the messages that the group is putting out there. I believe in the values of the group. I, I know that, you know, you'll laugh, but, you know, looking inward, you know, I know that that's good for everybody, right? So if I can be part of the board and I can help to grow ProSense and grow the membership in ProSense and the capabilities of ProSense, that's just going to be something that I personally feel good about and have some satisfaction aside from uh, NES's you know, performance within the group. So I, I really looked at it from both sides there and excited to be uh, involved with it, with all you guys. I think it, it really is going to do something special as we watch it continue to evolve. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. It's, uh, you know, we, we really believe heavily in our culture and in the idea of turning inward and, and kind of driving those communication behaviors. But as you know, most, most of us in the industry, we deal with this outside. The, the communication is just not the way the way it should be between a buyer and seller it, it makes it harder uh mm -hmm. we're you know our our whole motto here is to to try and change some of those behaviors people come here specifically for that but that means everybody has to <laughs> be a part of that right so can't right. be just us messaging it can't be just buyers trying to do it and not sellers it, it it goes it goes on all sides of that and so you know that type of a thing is a is a long-term um i think cultivation on our on our part but the cool thing is, is that the people that come here um, are definitely looking for that. I think it makes it a little easier right. to, to kind of seed. Um, JR. What's up, Mr. Alba? How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, good to see here. you, too. Man, it, you hit the nail on the head. And, and it, it's our core value of what ProSense is, is that we build connections. And that's what we do great. Greatly, and, and we're continuously trying to do that through our buyers and sellers. And your company NES being a distributor can you just tell us and everyone listening the value that ProSense provides you as a distributor inside the environment so it's kind of funny because if you look at it at its core ProSense is somewhat designed to uh, create those direct relationships between the end use consumers and, and manufacturers so at first I think people would think it's a little bit counterintuitive for me but in, in all reality, I feel like it's a perfect fit for me because I almost get to double dip on the relationships, right? I, I get to enjoy buyer and seller relationships within the environment. You know, so, so I'll look at the buyers first. I think, you know, you have an active pool of, of, of buyers that are in need of the products that NES sells. And while the environment may encourage some of those buyers to create direct relationships, there's also a number of lines that we carry that only sell through distribution. So we're able to offer those lines with the same benefits of buying through the ProSense environment as if, um, you know, if, as if it was a, a direct buy, although that distribution piece is in there. And I feel that that's a good value that we can bring to the ProSense uh, buyers community. On the seller side of it, it's great because now it gives me a whole new bunch of tools in my toolbox, so to speak. You know, if, if I have, uh, 
products that are going out the door or projects that are going out the door uh, with our existing relationships and then something just isn't there or just doesn't fit. I've got a, a whole group of people that I know I can reach out to and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Um, does someone manufacture or make this? And you know, while that manufacturer may say, yes, I do, and maybe that manufacturer does sell direct, you would think, oh, well, that's not gonna work for a distributor. That's where the NES added value comes in, right? So if, yes, if that manufacturer is gonna sell that product direct, Maybe it wouldn't work for me, but I'm not going to just sell that product. I'm going to sell that product. I'm going to wrap our services around it. I'm going to offer support that the manufacturer might not be capable of offering. And it allows me to take those traditional direct manufacturers, bring them through distribution out to my customer base and give that customer more than, than just the commodity that they're actually buying. You know, maybe we are putting incentives into that project for that customer. Maybe we're putting something into that mix that wouldn't have been there otherwise. And, and that's where we've really always kind of uh, excelled. So I look at it and, you know, I think that both sides are, are, are just as valuable to me, both looking at buyer relationships and seller relationships. And it just puts a really nice group together for me to, to interface with and network with and, and do business with. Yeah. You know, it, it's kind of interesting because I think, I think the key here is recognizing what the industry is today, right? It's not, it's not simply a distribution channel. Uh, there are direct relationships that are happening, but direct relationships and manufacturers that do that um, and, the, and the buyers that want those kind of relationships doesn't create, I think as, as maybe some may, may automatically assume, it doesn't create a, um, an, an aggressive or co competitive environment with the distribution channel. I think that, you know, you, most of those buyers that are buying direct also buy through distribution. We, they have to, the right. relationships are still there. And my, my philosophy, and I think, you know, Matt and, and um, JR will, will, uh, will, you know, follow along with this and, and believe the same thing is it, it's about supporting the relationship, right? So if the relationship right. is direct, you support the direct piece. If it's, if it's in the distribution side of it, you know, with a tier one, that requires that type of thing, uh, then you support that relationship and, and everybody lives and overlaps within within that same environment. So I, I love the way that you, you put that. Yeah, and, and to just second that thought, you, you hit the nail on the head with relationships, right? Like that's really what it's all about. And quite honestly, this industry that we're all lucky enough to be in, whether it be efficiency or efficiency and decarbonization, there's more work than we can all get to. Right? There simply just is. There's, there's really a lot, a lot of work here to be done. So to be able to look at it and say, yeah, sometimes it's going to be a relationship that works this way. Sometimes it's going to work a different way. But as long as you've got the relationship at the center of that thought process and you're, as long as you're doing what's right for the other person, it all comes back to you. And if that other person is a customer, if they're a vendor, do right by them, you know, get back to them promptly, you know, put the pieces together that they need to be successful. If you make them successful, it's all going to come back and you're going to be successful in the process. Amen. Amen on that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and turn the corner here and uh, enter into um, meeting our great and powerful Oz, Mr. Matt Russell, our CEO, um, where all things can and do happen. Matt, you're on, brother. Well, the one thing I, I really liked about that that you kind of summed it up with John is the golden rule, you know, you know, treat others um, the way you want to be treated, be respectful. Um, <clears throat> I know you said it a little bit differently, but that's what we all look for. You know, this is a relationship that's been, um, our industry has been around for hundreds of years, um, mm -hmm. whether in the trade craft and we're just a, a steward of it now. So we have to manage those relationships and be good stewards to our partners within that, whether it be on the buyer side, the seller side, or in your position, the distribution side. So I appreciate you saying that because it really is at the heart of what ProSense really is. <clears throat> but with you at NES, one of the things that I'm most excited about, um, because it is a big, huge thing and a big talking point within the current environment, if you watch the news, is EV charging. So you at NES have EV charging, um, which can be a, a go back point for a lot of our buyers. Um, and it can be a new opportunity sure. for new sellers to come into the environment. Um, so how can we leverage that with NES um, with the EV charging? 
Well, I think that uh, it really is just at like that tipping point. You know, I, I feel like you've got a number of vendors out there that have done pretty well over the last few years. And uh, I look at what they've done and I think it's like the perfect proof of concept right? as a business owner and in making financial decisions. I've never been one that wants to be the guinea pig. Right? I don't want to, I don't want to jump in and test it out and see if it worked or not. I feel like the guinea pigs have been out there and they proved it worked. We know that this is happening. You, you watch the news. There's no way that this fleet, when I talk about the fleet, the entire fleet of the United States is going to flip over over the course of the remainder of our careers. So when I when I look at a new business to get into or a new division to start or a new industry to go after, I always look at how pervasive is that business in its current existence and how disruptive is the technology change going to be? And that was something that really always drew me to lighting, right? You've got the most pervasive mesh network of PowerPoints in anything, right? Every building you go into, there's PowerPoints everywhere. Very, very solidly built, robust infrastructure in place. So jumped into that. Yeah, let's retrofit that. There's a lot of it. Let's go after it. Well, what's bigger than that? Our transportation network. There's gas stations everywhere. There's gas vehicles everywhere. When you look at another massive infrastructure to be disruptive, we're staring right down the barrel at it when we look at the, the transportation industry. And I think whether you're looking at personal vehicles, fleet vehicles, it's going to require such a massive outlay of charging stations to support this transition with the vehicles that it's just the perfect place for someone to be in at this point in time right now. So NES has done a lot of work vetting out who they want to charge forward with this, no pun intended. Um, but we, we, we decided to work with Breeze EV. It's a, it's a manufacturer and a company that we just have a lot of trust in, a lot of faith in. We're, we're up here in Massachusetts. They're a Massachusetts-based company. They have an innovation center right here. They've already gotten to the point where enough components are made with their charging solution that it's already BAA, Buy America Act compliant. You know, you look at all of these things that are coming out um, in terms of funding, infrastructure money, the, the various methods that people will use to put this in place, and just general society right now and the thoughts on having domestic production. That was a big piece for us, right? To know that I can get in my car and drive an hour and be at the place where this is being made is, is a big thing for me. So, so that is a big piece that drove me to Breeze EV. And then once really kind of ingrained with them, the support has been spectacular. And, and now by extension, I want to be able to offer that support to the ProSense members. So we've done a couple of training sessions over Zoom. We're happy to get out and do training sessions live with people. And we're happy to support with the actual sales process with people. So, you know, we have a, a good inventory already in place. We have inventory that'll be coming. I know that that will probably at some point in the future be the biggest pinch point, just like we've seen it with some of the lighting issues with supply chain. This is going to probably have supply chain issues that become a pinch point. We're trying to get ahead of that, stay ahead of that. We want to be that resource for those ProSense members to be able to enable them to add this new piece to their mix, right? If they're at a facility doing lighting, let's have the conversation, right? You, What's easier to, to, to sell, uh, an existing customer or a new customer? Well, the existing customer already trusts you. They've already bought from you. So let's try to sell them some more. So if we can, if we can help support your membership that way, where it really doesn't feel like an overwhelming thing to add. It's just, okay, well, it's just another electrical component. You know, if you've put a light pole in, you can put a charging station in. And the charging stations are really, really taking off um, from the customer side. We, we just were at the, the Northeast Food Show uh, put on by the Mass Restaurant Association the last three days. And We've sold so much lighting to this group over the years. It's not even funny. I mean, you think about especially the screw based lights. And then when they came out with the uh, the vintage style filament LEDs and, you know, getting into the restaurant industry, we, we've gone through tons of restaurants within this group. 
not one person even looked at lighting coming into our booth. We had the charger set up there and the focus was all right there. And it was such an overwhelmingly positive response. It just made me feel really good knowing that, hey, I think we've made a really good decision here. You know, we've invested a bunch of money, time, energy. Uh, it's good to feel from the buyer's side saying, hey, this is going to move forward and it is going to work as, as, as we had projected. So, you know, any questions or any technical background or knowledge or training that's needed, we want to be there to really make it uh, uh, as easy as it is for us to add a SKU to, from a warehousing perspective, we want to add it as a measure to your client. So, so we're adding SKUs into our warehouse. Let's add measures into your client's projects. And now it's just, you know, you've got your lighting we're doing, we're doing your controls, we're going to add EV, we're going to do demand control, ventilation, whatever it may be. Let's try to add this measure in there and, and see how it goes. I think that everyone's going to have a pretty similar response around the country. Absolutely. Hey, before uh, before Matt hits his last um, question here, uh, can you you know in in, in a Cliff's Notes version um, mm -hmm. explain the difference um, in regards to the differentiation of other EV charging um, organizations and Breeze EV when it comes to the the ongoing revenue or the contracts that are tied to these companies when you put in their systems? I, I when I went through the um the uh the program that uh, that they had done um this i think was was very unique and I, and I think it's it's a it's an important selling feature of why breezy breezy v um is something to be looking at yeah absolutely and and i i, I appreciate you asking the question i i should have thought of that on my own i guess i i think that uh I, it really struck me actually at the show because uh one of the restaurants came up to us and they have already installed somebody's station, uh, which you've all seen is probably the most uh, widely sold stations that you, that's out in the country. And the question was, would we be able to remove that station, use the existing infrastructure and put a, a breezy V pedestal in there? Be because of exactly what you just asked. Uh, they were constrained with uh, overwhelming contracts. They were locked into something they didn't want to be locked into anymore. And it simply wouldn't work without those things locked in. So what Breeze EV did is tried to do, I, I guess, two things, actually. One is they made it modular. Uh, so there is a pedestal, there is a charging head, uh, two varieties of charging head, but pedestal, charging head. You have your cables, your cable management system, and your software. And, and all of those are modular components, including that software. So you'll you'll hear a lot out there. They'll talk about OCPP. It's basically the open protocol, uh, open charge point protocol, where you can put whatever software on it that you want. And and it is important to have that software piece. You, you do need to have some software on it if you're expecting to attract the public and you want to be showing up on maps and and all of the things that that come along with it. Uh, the the part that's really on the software side that really sets Breeze EV aside, it truly is open protocol. If you called me back a year after it and said, hey, I want to take the software off, we will walk you through how to take the software off. So you're not locked into anything. You can buy the station with software on it. You can buy the station with software off it. You can prepay for any number of years. The reason that is, is because the utility programs will require different levels of software for different levels of time to to gain those incentives right. but to be able to not be burdened by anything i think is a big piece of it you know you, you don't want to buy something and then that product that you paid for owns you right you want to be able to to buy something and be able to own it and and use it as you see fit so from a modularity perspective all of those individual components are their own skew so if you have damage ongoing maintenance repairs that need to be done you're not replacing an entire unit, which in most cases on the competitive brands, you will see that you are replacing an entire unit. You just have a cable that gets cut. The cable is a field installable. You'll just replace it and, and put a new cable in. You want to change the software, we'll change the software. So all of those things really have been built around the customer's perspective and trying to build something that's going to be customer friendly, maintenance friendly. And if you're familiar with the company Breeze EV comes from, so it's it's a division of light efficient design and it rolls up under the old Remfos brand that light efficient design uh, acquired a few years back. 
if you're familiar with those lines and those products, you'll see that they've always been installer friendly. They've always taken the innovative side of it, but married it with the real world side and not just said, okay, we're going to make something really cool, but it's going to be hard to use. They make stuff that's really cool, works really well. It's very simple to use, simple to install, simple to maintain. And, and that whole thought process has continued to, to go right through this new line with Breezy V. Absolutely. Right on. All right, Matt, you're on. All right. Well, as the you know CEO of ProSense, you know, I've always depended on other people's opinions to help bring a more holistic approach to it. So as a, not only a distributor within the environment, but also a board member, what are some of the efforts that you think that we should be looking at that, that can initiate growth um, or help evolve our product offerings? Sure. Sure. So, uh, so I'll preface this answer and let you know that I am I'm definitely a serial entrepreneur at heart and uh, be, be wary what you ask for. Cause I just might answer it. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I look at what's starting to come together here. And I feel like when you look at the buyer side, it, we're, we're creating an, awesome group of buyers that have great regional capabilities that are all over the country. And I can't help but look at what's starting to evolve here and think of how well this could be put into a national account play and almost even have ProSense as the entity out there calling on national accounts and then funneling it back through the membership. So yeah, you don't need a national you don't need a national vendor with offices in every state if you have a membership that covers that. And now all of a sudden the members can be the beneficiaries of national accounts being sold and they can be fulfilling services and products in those individual territories where they've built their, uh, their base and their loyalty. Absolutely. I love that because <laughs> that's been a, a word that I've heard a lot over the last couple of weeks. Um, and there's been conversations. So um, it's nice to hear that. Um, it just helps reaffirm, you know, some of the things. I, it's just, I feel like it's just the logical progression of it there. I mean, all of a sudden you're going to have all of the components in place to, to go into whoever you want to and say, Hey, I can service you what, whatever we get to it. We'll, we'll, we'll have 24 hours. There'll be someone out at your facility, wherever that facility may be. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I love, I love these, these, uh, inside pro sense moments, man. Cause there's some good things that come out of these that, you know, in some cases we've already discussed or at least had, you know, some type of a, you know, momentary discussion around it during our meetings. Mm -hmm. But um, when we get things, things like this from, you know, from our, our people on the inside, um, it's really a positive, positive uh, step forward, I think, for, for what process is going to become. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this has been fun. I, I appreciate you taking the time today and, and, and giving us the information that you've you've provided, um, as it always goes without saying, uh, I'll say it anyway, <laughs> we, we are, we're very, very proud to have you uh, in the organization and on the board uh, here at ProSense. Um, and our members benefit from all that, uh, that our distributors specifically add to the environment. So having NES as a part of our uh, membership and, and our team on the board um, is, is definitely a very positive thing. And we wanna thank you for your time today and all that's coming up here in 2022 and beyond. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right on. Matt, uh, you want to say a few words before we close out? Absolutely. Um, to our current members uh, within the ProSense environment, I tell you, if there's, if you're looking to learn more about EV charging um, and some people that have installed it, um, reach out to John um, and figure out what solutions that they have to offer through Breeze EV. Also to the sellers that are outside the environment, if you're afraid of coming in the environment because you don't want to disrupt the channel flow, we've got the solution. So we've got you covered. So we've thought about this a variety of different ways. And as I said earlier, I've had holes poked in my plans a lot um, to make this as seamless as possible and really bring it back to the, the relationships. So uh, I appreciate your time, John, and everyone else. Right on. Thank you. And buyers out there, right now is the best time to get involved. So, uh, if you want something for free, now's the time. Uh, you know, until this, when once we get to a certain number, and we're looking at this thing quarterly, you know, to decide where to, you know, cut it off, uh, the free is going to be fee. Uh, we take out the R. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, uh, this is great. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, Matt. 
Uh, now, as we always do, we close this out with a bit of our process culture, just to do it right. To all of our current and future members, remember, success always begins with consistency. Get yourself and your organization fully connected, be active, be responsive, and always do what you say you're going to do. And remember to support the environment by always first turning inward for your organizational needs. At ProSense, we make connections that are sticky and that last, then we get out of the way. ProSense opens doors and our participants always choose their own path, but they do it together. If you'd like to know more about ProSense, check out our website, www.prosense.com, or reach out to one of us on the leadership team and get on our calendars. There's no better time than now to get on this train. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.